Hey everyone, Don and Ash here. Hello. Back for another episode of Arcane. Um, we're finally on episode four. This one's called Happy Progress Day. Um, honestly, I know that in our extended reaction for episode uh, three, you, some of you guys were asking if there was going to be like, if we were going to kind of deliberate on what we thought was going to happen in episode four. Yeah. I honestly, Ash asked me earlier too. I honestly have, <laughs> I have no thoughts. I just, um, I'm personally just interested to see the two different directions that the sisters take and uh, just to experience their journey. Um, yeah, my my only thought is I'm wondering how far episode four starts into the future or if it does at all. So if it's going to be maybe like a couple months after or years or like, I'm just interested to see where, that, if there is a time gap. For sure. Um, honestly, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as ready as we can be. Nervous I was like, every yeah, time. now that we've like super calmed down after episode three, <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. What are you up to, Heimer Digger? Ah, come in, please. Beautiful you seat. It? Our city is about to... It's shaping up to be an amazing progress day. Stanwick Padivli. Here he stands. He realized nothing he could accomplish could compare to the contributions of his students. The council has recommended you give the progress day speech this year. W but... You always give that speech. Let's go, Jace. I agree with them. <laughs> Your hex gates have done wonders for our city. Brought scholars from distant lands, reignited passions in arts and science. You deserve this honor. Let's go, Jace. Yes, let's go. Wow. Yeah, I love this scape. I'm, I'm like, I knew he looked older. Jace? Chase, I knew Chase looked older, and then like as soon as he was like hex gates, I was like hex gates. I was like, oh yeah, we we're definitely in the future. A little bit, yeah. Amazing. Wow. They have like whole zeppelins now. Look at this. Wow. I'm like, I got chills already. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. No way. You are absolutely right. Teleportation. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, Chase. Hilltopper looks so cool now. Yeah, I can't wait to see the celebration. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> A man of progress, Jace. Let's go. <laughs> Who are you? Jace Tavis. Traitor. <laughs> Kate? Yeah, it is Kate. Serves you right. You still avoiding her? I'm working. Oh, Whoa. Either. She'd do anything to keep me from seeing the real world. Have fun hurting the drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> Just bros coming in from everywhere. <laughs> Love it. Like, now who's gonna be on this? Oh, that's the dude from the trailer? I was like, yeah, yeah. Is that the tattoo guy? Yes, oh it is. Oh my gosh, it is. And they have X's. Manifest the pink X's. From your friend downtown. Oh man. What? Oh. Yo. These dudes are so oh sick. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude! Oh no! Look at them! They're they so, are cool. so cool! Yeah. yeah, oh my god! Oh! Oh no! I'm like, you know who it is? She's here. Oh my gosh! They're trying to make her so scary. That's hilarious. Uh. Boom! Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I'm so speechless right now. <laughs> okay. I'm so speechless right now. My leg is like just shaking. You are supposed to guard the cargo. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't believe what just happened. Yeah, what? <laughs> this is why I have no thoughts. I just I'm just here to experience it. That was crazy. Wow. Okay. And what about the council? We stabilized the crystal like they asked. It's like Victor. I love this little guy. I'm so glad you could make it. What do we have on the docket? What? A Hextech gemstone. Whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sprockets. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. We present to you the next chapter of Hextech. Oh, it's her fist! Oh my god. The hex claw. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's finally possible. Uh, oh! <laughs> Easy. Easy. And it will be ready. A decade. A decade? Oh. I'm like, Vector might be like dead in a decade. I was bro. gonna say, he's not looking well. Curious. I'm curious. I love how she used it like an old school camera. Yeah. Okay, Detective Kate. Right? Again. <laughs> if I could just question him, I'll I could... take it from here. I want this one on a boat to Stillwater Prison. Yes, sir. Marcus can trip off that Zeppelin as far as I I'm concerned. I was just gonna still. say, I'm like, that's totally, yeah. Yeah, no, he can trip off that Zeppelin so far and face plant down in Zon. <laughs> All right, let's go. What's uh, happening down here in Under City? I love how it's like, just like Night City in Vegas or something. Total different vibe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. This is awesome. She fired on us. The firelights were a target, and most are dead. She's a problem, and we all know it. We. Uh oh. Who's we? <laughs> I expect oh. better from you than excuses. So don't I just realized. Me again. They don't disappoint me again. I just realized that everybody down there is partying on that like purple stuff. Yeah. Like now that he's leader. So yeah. Yeah. Topsiders are leaving us further and further behind. What happened? One of those firelight wackos was a girl with pink hair. What this? Your sister's gone. Sisters, right? You can't live with them, can't stuff them back in the old baby maker. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. Weird. I can rely on you. Super weird. Do it. Some time. I, I don't need time. No, nah, I, I, I'm like that's, that's a, weird, man. The whole scene was weird. Hello, friend. Yes. Fundraiser's going well. The only one actually worth my time is him, the Golden Boy. 
Oh. Speak of the devil. Now she wants to pay attention. <laughs> uh. Could I borrow you for a minute? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Heimdinger is a great scientist, but he's old. Piltover needs a leader who looks forward. Someone like you. Bro. You really that? <laughs> repeat Caitlin's name in your head. <laughs> Investors. Of course. Everyone wants Hextech for themselves. Dangling the Let's carrot. Give the people a glimpse of the future. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're back in Jinx territory now. It wasn't her. It wasn't. <laughs> she just has this big area where she just gets to explode. Oh, just, Whoa. just some... I got confused, that's all. He thinks I'm weak. I'm not weak. And I'm gonna show him. Oh, I'm gonna progress show day. Y'all see. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Vicar ain't looking you? so good for real. They were asking yeah. if I could do the address. You had your speech prepared? Uh -huh. Guess it's time. Good luck, Jace. Yeah. I just got the worst feeling. Yep. Like yeah, assassination. It, it's uh, looming. There's something yeah. is looming. Something. It was the little drip down the cup. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it's ominous. Uh, good evening. And believe me, Ooh. I'm just as shocked as you are. I'm not ready. I'm so nervous right now. I know. <laughs> but we're not done yet. Oh man, what? Oh. He's like, don't. So oh my God. Oh, my hands were shaking so hard. Oh no. Your hardships. We vow to keep pressing forward, for we are the city of progress and our future is bright. Woo! <laughs> Brutal. Oh, no. Victor was ready. That it then? I thought that Talus boy was some kind of genius. What are you even doing here, Kiraman? Don't you have a cocktail party to attend? <laughs> Fire. Fire. Who do we think did it? Mel Murdadas. <laughs> oh. Jinx. Yeah. 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 Why, Jinx? And <laughs> totally by accident. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, goodbye is right. Jinx, why? The gemstone is gone, Garrett, along with some of our research papers. Oh, I knew it! The situation I knew it! Developing. Heimer dear. For too long has the underground been left unchecked. Oh! The Undercity yeah. cannot be controlled. Not by us. So where does that leave us? You buy the fists. If the right person got a hold of it, it's possible they could utilize its energy. I have come before you to recommend that we suspend all Hextech operations until the situation is resolved. Have you lost your mind? The Hex gates must remain open. But oh, now you guys. Shouldn't the safety of Piltover be our first priority? Am I to tell the Noxians their next shipment of wine will be vinegar? Seems to me only Mr. Talis has the knowledge necessary to secure the Hex gates. Uh. I propose that a new chair be brought forth as a counselor. What? He will have the resources necessary to protect all our investments. Does the boy have any experience? Only that of a scientist, like Heimerdinger. Woo! <laughs> Shall we vote? What? Jason's like, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> yeah. How are they going to deliberate votes now if they just cut it down the middle? Oh my gosh. Look at your setup. She's jamming to her own song. <laughs> uh oh. Sound like Vander. Do you have any idea what you've done? Sounds like Vander. Yeah. <laughs> I do. He's like, here you go. <laughs> They're 
whole relationship is so weird to me. Yeah, yeah, there is some weird vibes here. Ugh. It just, ugh. Their whole vibe just sends me, like, it's gross. You like, got what a, Yeah, man. It's like, he's totally a cradle robber. I've had a break in the case. Listen, you know how I've suspected there is a single mind behind the Undercity's violence? <laughs> Keep up. All this time, they've kept Look. their dealings localized to the Undercity. The answer is here. Staring me in the face. You can feel it. I love it. Amazing. How do you intend to prove any of this? If there's Marcus. anything I've learned about the council, they need more than just theories. Since they need proof. you concern yourself with the council's opinion? Since I became a counselor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? When? Why? House Tower Security. That's a ceremonial position. I live behind a desk. Thanks. Uh, ah. a job. Don't need charity counselor. Yours or my parents. Like, I'll do it myself. Yeah. What you thinking, my friend? Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. She's on a mission. I can't wait till she gets her sniper rifle. And we only know that because of the previous cinematic, y'all. Don't at me. <laughs> need to speak with one of the inmates. Inmate 2135. Yeah, I'm uh, afraid that's not possible. Why not? Uh. Pretty kind. I have to talk to him. Who assaulted him? Oh, yeah, we know this. <laughs> we know who this is. Let's be. go! Bam is just punching the wall. Let's go. Wow. Who the hell are you? Ah. Let's go! It can't end there. Oh, I my was just going to say that. I was like, excuse me? I'm adding 85.16 to all my tags, all my names in in-game. Oh man, I can't wait. Wow. Oh, this, oh, oh my God. That was so good. That did not, how is that it was, over already? That was so good. Like. Oh my. <laughs> there's, there was so many setups got right to the climax of the I setup. Know. So many different storylines got right to the top of the roller coaster. I know. And I can't wait till they take off. Oh, oh my, gosh. my goodness. So now we have to watch like episode five ASAP. Um. I, I, I literally, I, yeah, no. We already had plans to watch it ASAP. I, I, I literally I can't wait now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's, okay. I'm, I'm so excited for Jace. Yes. I'm so excited for, for, for what's going on with Jace. Man. Um, I honestly feel like Mel Mordadas has maybe her own agenda going on. I was on. just going to say that. She's got her own plans. For sure. Oh, my God. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I, uh, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to form my words. Um, okay. We got the Jace thing. Um, so much. Okay. Can I, can I quickly talk about the Powder and Silco relationship? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's weird. Like, like it's like old man, little girl weird. Like, it's weird, okay? You guys know where I'm going with this. It's yeah. weird, yeah. all right? I, I, uh. So, um, whatever. Uh, I like how... Not, I like, I just... It's interesting how um, Powder has, like, the dead Milo there. I, yes! I literally thought it yeah. was his, I th I thought yeah. it was his corpse at first, but it's, I think it's just, I think it's just made of it's stuff. It's just, yeah, it is just made of stuff. I thought that too. I was just like, but that looks like a spine. That's not a spine. It's clearly not his body, Ashley. Like, obviously, yes, he's made up of stuff. But you could see, like, not gears, whatever. You could see that he's made up of stuff. But yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Um. Also, like, Unreal. we clearly see that she's her her mind is like fragmented. No, yeah, we see that now, of course, yeah, and, yeah. and like we knew that that was gonna happen. I mean, you know, you see yeah. it in the trailer. I, I'm pretty sure you see it in the trailer, whatever. But anyways, we knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to see her psychosis play out or her multiple personality thing play out yeah um and then uh obviously there's going to be moments that are going to be very impactful for when she has moments where she thinks like the person she's fighting or the person she sees is her sister yeah um obviously i think we're both looking forward to the moment she does see her sister oh my like, gosh is she gonna trip out still and think that she's not her sister or something like is it gonna go yeah, completely 180? yeah exactly exactly um wow i like seeing kate grown up Yes. Uh, I know that she has a snipe rifle, and I can't wait to, for her full character to develop because uh, uh, she has that weapon in the um, in Warrior Warrior cinematic. War, I think yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same scene that you see uh, Vian, Vian. Yeah, which, that's true. Um, I almost feel like that might be a thing in Arcane, like that that whole 
like Vi already has her fists in that in that cinematic, True. right? Yeah. And, and Kate has her sniper rifle, so the team up. Yeah, I I, I can't Someday? wait. Maybe. Maybe I just can't wait till like I want to know if like Kate gets like that sniper rifle and she's still part of like the Piltover military type thing, or is she like going mercenary mode? Right, right. There's yeah. certain things that I'm just um wondering in my head, but I don't really want the answer to. So uh, be mindful in your in your comments, please. Yes, please, please. <laughs> um, what else do we have going on? Oh my gosh! Did you uh, think Heimerdinger was gonna switch? That was cool. Heimerdinger, you know his his leaf turned over. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, that's true. Um, um, not. I mean, he told them to wait, so that not so much on that end. But yeah, I but I'm talking about the counselor thing when he yes, made Jay's counselor. Yeah, right? like that, that was. Yeah, that was so cool. Yep, I agree. Um, the moment I seen so after Jinx blew up that building in the city. Um, honestly, what what I, I want to say what a cool setup. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for, it, it for was how she pulled that off. Yeah, it was dope how um, she pulled it off for sure. But as soon as I seen her, they like they flash, flash her going into like the a new building. I was like, where is that? I honestly thought like I'm like where? No, no, it was the it was the building that they just talked. No, no, I mean like, sorry, where is that? I mean like where's the crystal? I was like, where did we leave that? Did anyone get that? Like I had this feeling. I'm like, what if she gets it? Oh. And then all of a sudden she ha- and then it, yeah, you know, literally, they, literally no, they, they literally right left after. it. They left it on the anvil. Right, like That's exactly. I was like, Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? Ugh. Yeah, no, they left it on the anvil. Obviously, they thought they were safe, but um, it's not their fault technically. Like, I'm pretty sure the way that the scene, maybe I think a little bit after that was, was the enforcers were just chilling. They were just smoking and not actually guarding g- it, guarding right. So or doing something. Yeah, I think we can confidently say that it's most likely their fault, or yeah. that like at least it's their fault that it happened so freely. Like they should have. Maybe it wasn't their fault. Like maybe they were. There should still be like no, someone. No, yeah, what I'm talking about I mean, is like maybe they were like maybe there were other <laughs> guards. Like maybe it wasn't the same okay, guards. Yeah, that were yeah, I understand. I understand. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it carefully again. But regardless, someone should have watched it or moved it or uh, yeah, obviously, something. Obviously, yeah. So um, who knows what? Uh, at, at, I mean, some of you may know, but we don't know what Silco is gonna do with the crystals at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, he's like blown away that uh, Jinx was able to do that. So I wonder if like. The, um, I don't know what the other girl's name is. I forget her name. Uh, Jinx said it a couple times when she was mad. Oh, but, um, but the girl with the, the, um, purple, like, cracks in her face. Yeah, yeah, um, I noticed this. Her, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna call Silco's other second in command or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna call Jinx second man. I'll call her the second in command, and Jinx is just his, Jinx is just Jinx, okay? Jinx she's, is, she, yeah. Yeah, she's just yeah. her own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so his second in command, um, I wonder if she's gonna actually, like, like be thrown under the bus, like get in trouble because yeah, because Jinx just showed up and like pulled pulled this pulled, pulled this off yeah, herself, yeah, right? Yeah, so exactly. Who knows on that end? Um, what else do we have towards the end of the episode? Uh, oh, she... I didn't even notice. I was like, did she still have that arm? I didn't even notice. She shouldn't. I'm. She has a arm. I'm, I mean, in the last episode, she had her arm, so I, great, I don't think it great, changed. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, I mean, it it was cool or interesting that uh, everyone in the bar. You know, when, when second in command was walking into the underground and everything, everybody in the bar was like pretty much everybody's huffing on purple stuff. Um, yep. like everybody, like it's just like a common thing yeah. there now. It's almost like they they're like ingest it like shisha or something. Yeah, and like I feel like like obviously Undercity is just like a completely new vibe now. Yeah, like uh, we didn't get much Undercity experience in this episode. Yeah. Uh it was more focused on Piltover. So hopefully in episode five, it it flips the script and we get to see more of the action and the backstory going on in Zon right now. Agreed, yeah. Uh, that would be really cool. And um, I honestly still don't have any thoughts for the future episode. Not right, especially not right now because I'm still processing everything we just saw. I'm yeah, still yeah. so hyped about everything we just saw. I know. I'm trying to like pick things up and remember. Um, sort of random. The the head counselor guy. Can't remember his name, but regardless, the head counselor guy, he's got that that toy, that puzzle toy. Oh, that he's playing with. I laughed because, like, I remember. Do you think he's the head counselor guy? I think so. Why do you think that? I'm, I think it's been referred to in a previous episode. Okay. Um, I didn't pick that up. Um, but I remember, like, Mel picked that gift out for him. Yeah. And they, I remember, like, the person that was, you know, giving her the options said that, like, it was meant for a child. And she was like, perfect. And I'm like, it's fine. He's still working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, he's, whether he's the head one or anything, they obviously treat him as if, like, they're just the, just the, just the dumb one of the group, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no, there's no other way to say it, really. <laughs> um, seeing 
uh, it's cool how they, uh, what is her name? Caitlin's investigation brought her to introduce, reintroduce us to grown up or future Vi. Yes. I love how they tied that in. And as soon as we saw that scene of the uh, jail hallway, obviously that scene's from the trailer. We yeah. Knew it. I'm like, you saw yeah. it on our faces. We yeah, were so yeah. like, what? Like, oh, it's going to be. Yeah. Oh, hello, bye. And like now my favorite number is 8516. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's yeah. her. That's yeah. her. Uh, oh, that's her. Um, That's her uh, um, jail number. Yes. Um, let's and see. it's weird. I don't know why I didn't notice the eight. I noticed five sixteen, but I didn't see the eight at first. Yeah, no, it's 80, probably just me. But. 80, 80, 85, 16, I'm pretty sure was her number. Okay. Um, and then what else we got? We got Jace uh trying to, I guess, console Caitlin or give her the job. Yeah. Um, she's so independent. She's like, no. Yeah, she's so independent. <laughs> I, I love her character. I I can't wait to see her develop. To be yeah, honest. Yeah, honestly. Um, do you think the tattoo guy that she was investigating is gonna talk? Yes, no? I want to, I'm like, I know, <laughs> like, maybe, give an but give I'm an like, answer. that's not an answer. Um, man, I, I honestly, I don't know. I'm like, he seemed really scared, too. Well, I mean, he doesn't have to be scared of Silco at this point. I, we don't know where that jail is, where that jail is located that she went to. Um, but it looks pretty secure to me. Like, kind of like off in the, somewhere. Yeah, in the middle looks, of nowhere. It, it looks pretty secure to me at not. I, I want to learn more about that. And uh, the guys they were fighting at the beginning, I, it was probably like my, my. I think those are my favorite scenes. The rest of it was yeah. really interesting. But I think, honestly, those guys on the hoverboards at the beginning, yeah. uh, whatever they were called, remind us in the comments, um, those guys were awesome. Yes. Awesome. I don't know if they all died, especially the guy with the main mask that was mad that the pink haired girl yeah, died. Yeah, with the like owlish mask. Yeah the, yeah, the main guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was my favorite in the trailer. Yes. I pointed him out in the trailer right away. I thought he was super cool. So, honestly, all I have to say about this episode to sum everything up is I can't wait to flesh out more of all the storylines that activated in this episode. Yeah. Like, I'm done. And I'm pretty sure, sorry, just to go back because you uh, to the uh, tattoo guy that's in the jail. Yeah. Obviously, or I think anyway, Vi is the one that beat him up. Oh, yeah, ob obviously. Like, 100%. So, it's like, she must, like, that... Like she obviously she remembers. How could, look at the size of him? He's got all tattoos. Yeah, I know, yeah, right? Yeah. Like obviously, but I'm like, that's cool that She's their like, paths have crossed again. Yeah, you tried to kill me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, didn't I knock you out? <laughs> like, well, yeah. <laughs> that's time number two. It's it's. Uh, I wonder. We ha we don't know how Vi got down there. Um, True. I wonder if she's still in jail from. I wonder I how long say, she's been in there. I was just gonna say, I'm like, well, if Marcus put her in jail, then I, I wonder how long she's been in there. Like, if she grew up in there, yeah. I honestly wonder if she's gonna get out and like want to murder Marcus or something. Whatever. We know that she gets those fists because of the Warrior cinematic. It at this point, it's just figuring out how she gets the fists. So yeah. In my mind, I'm like, okay, so she's gonna hook up with Jason Victor at some point. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I wonder if this is like the whole Piltover security thing. Like, they, they want. The best security, right? This is my theory. Oh, okay, man. if I have one theory, this is it. Okay, this is the only theory I have. I wonder if they, cause because they want the best security, they need the best fighter of Piltover. Yeah, yeah. And that is why, without a doubt, right now, because they have, they have her, right? Yeah. There it is. There it is. I feel like that's gonna happen. I feel confident in that theory. Um, I can't wait to watch the next one. I'm done with this one. I, I. You have yeah. any last thoughts? No. Uh. I like Jinx's setup. That's yeah. gonna be my last thought. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. gonna be my last thought. <laughs> do, you mean, do you mean in the building that she exploded everything? Yeah, or she's just on like this weird oh, abandoned oh. fan or something. You mean her home setup? Her home setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Her home setup is very uh, steampunkerish. Very. Um... It's vibrant with all the glowing paint and and it's I don't know. You, her, I like her little workshop. Like, yeah, it's just it's, it's just very unique. her, right? Yeah, it's very it is very her. They did such a great job at like again moving her whole personality and vibe into like an environment that is around her yes um they did very well at, like translating that over like i think even the candles were pink like uh, it just like it I, it's so her you got the drawings absolutely everywhere yeah it's so 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 on point yes yeah very cool i think that's my final thought <laughs> all right um i honestly if um if if and one last thing it's not a theory or anything but if uh riot or whatever made the masks of the guys with the hoverboards i honestly Another cosplay. <laughs> Add it to the list. Like, the, like the three of them were cool. We had the owl guy. We had the girl with the pink hair, who remind me of um, 
just the guards in Naruto, the Hokage's guards. Yes. And yeah. then we had the guy that had like a, a almost like a, a what looked like a wolf face or a dog mask that yeah. was like more death looking, like right, like you know, just kind of looked like kind of dead ish yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Badass. The guy that got his face crunched. That guy. Yeah. Um, wicked masks. I love them so much. I love that that character design is my favorite. Bar none in this in this episode. Yeah. So I do agree. I'm glad that we got to see them. Hundred percent. I'm so so glad that we got to see them, and they were like, again, like you said, one of the most interesting parts for sure. Um, they're just so damn cool. Yes. <laughs> um, I yeah. hope we get to see more. I uh, can't wait to see more of them. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. To wrap it up, I think I think we're done with this. We're one. good. We're good. Perfect. So <laughs> to wrap it up, um, let us know your favorite moments from this episode. And yeah. let us know your favorite moments from our reactions. I know that uh, both of us seemed a little quiet during it because there was just so much to take in. Yeah. There was so much to take in. So yeah. hopefully we did a good enough recap for you guys. And uh, as always, please like, share, and especially subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode of Arcane. Sooner than later. Can't wait. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.